If you want to beat all those Urshifu decks, quit playing around. Just put two copies of Mew from Unbroken Bonds in your deck. Ooh, what's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. It's probably no surprise to you that Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX is still a powerhouse card in the Pokemon trading card game. As it turns out, taking bonus prizes is pretty good. What might be surprising to you, though, is that Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX no longer need Zacian V to be a tier one deck. I'm really stoked on this new version of Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX. I think it perfectly counters the current meta. I'm excited to show off my list, but before we get to it, let's head on over to FullGripGames.com. FullGripGames.com is your one-stop shop for all the best Pokemon trading card game singles and sealed product. It's also the most reliable place to sell your Pokemon cards. If you've got extra cards lying around the house and you're trying to get some cash for them or store credit or a new booster box, make sure to check out the FullGrip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles at the shop and selling your cards to FullGrip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Filling out a buy list is super easy to do. You just fill out the buy list with the cards you want to sell us. You send us the cards and we send you the cash, the store credit, or a new booster box, whichever you choose. Now let's check out that Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia deck. Here it is, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX. Need I say anything more that hasn't already been said about this card? It's been out for two years now and I'm sure that most players can't wait for this thing to rotate out of standard format. But before rotation happens, there is still time for this final version of Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX to absolutely dominate the Pokemon TCG standard metagame. ADP's new partner is Galarian Moltres V with its Dire Flame Wings ability, which allows it to recharge darkness energy from the discard pile to itself. Aurora Burn does 190 damage after an Ultra Creation GX that's 220 damage, enough damage to knock out just about any Pokemon V you may be up against. And most notably, Galarian Moltres V easily one hit KOs Gengar and Mimikyu Tag Team GX or any of your opponent's Shadow Rider V Maxes, making for a fantastic Shadow Rider matchup. We've also got Galarian Zapdos V in this list with its Fighting Instinct ability, which makes its attacks cost one color less for each of your opponent's Pokemon V in play. Fantastic against Eternatus VMAX. Thunderous Kick easily one-hit KOs opposing Eternatus VMAX, and since Eternatus X will usually have multiple Pokemon V in play, you can usually use Thunderous Kick for just one Aurora Energy. Might be surprised that this deck does not play many Metal or Water Energies anymore. Just one Metal Energy, one Water Energy, so that we can use Ultimate Ray or Altered Creation, but four Aurora Energies, which not only help us to power up Arceus Dialga and Palkia GX's Altered Creation GX, it also helps us to attack with that Galarian Zapdos, and of course with Galarian Moltres, and it helps us to get that Darkness Energy into the discard pile so that Dire Flame Wings can charge up Darkness Energy turn after turn. Something very unique about this particular list. Two copies of Mew from Unbroken Bonds. You want to beat all those Urshifu decks? Quit playing around. Just put two copies of Mew from Unbroken Bonds in your deck. Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX is still an incredibly popular deck. If you want to beat that deck, put two Mew in your deck. You'll thank me later. If you really want to beat them, put three Mew in the deck. You'll thank me later. This card is so good, and this deck is so good against Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX and Rapid Striker Shifu VMAX that the Mew is easily worth the space. You won't hate the fact that there are multiple Mew on your bench when you're up against a Rapid Strike or Shifu VMAX that cannot G-Max Rapid Flow your benched Pokemon for multiple knockouts. Still got a copy of Mawile GX in the deck with its captivating Wink ability. Fantastic for trapping your opponents to Dene GX, Crobat V, things like that on the bench. I've got three copies of Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX in this list just because I want to open it every single game. And this list without Metal Saucer has got the luxury of space on its side. Check out this deck in action and let me know what do you think of Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX featuring Moltres V and Zapdos V in the comments below. See, I just don't want to start my Dedenes. So we had to put all these dudes in. These dudes in the deck. See, we're playing against what appears to be either an 
Oh, yeah, Rapid Strike deck. They're going to be so upset. When I drop the second Mew, they're going to be like, they're not going to know what hit them. <laughs> when I drop the second Mew, they're going to they're going to scoop, okay? I just want you guys want you guys to understand. Yeah, second Mew in deck. There we go. Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX. Let's go. Discard the Mawile. Probably don't need it. Switch into ADP and Marnie. Huh. Yeah, I think I'm just chilling. I mean, they have put no pressure on me yet. So we're just going to pass. Next turn, I can... Uh, go with the altered creation i've got another aurora energy in my hand and we'll research draw seven new cards do need to start getting some energy under my galarian moltres my opponent's going to start setting up i know that they're playing urshifu so i think it's still worth it to alter creation for the bonus prize because then i just have to knock out you know one inteleon and one VMAX and the game's over. I do think that this matchup is bad with just one Mew. Uh, I think that they can play around the one Mew too easily. So I really do think... I think that this deck is so simple and straightforward. It's just such a anti-meta deck, right? You're playing four Galarian Moltres. You just want... Against Shadow Rider, you're just powering up Moltres and knocking dudes out. That's it. And then just play as many Mew as you need to, to play to beat this deck, right? That's the idea. Just play as many of them as you need to play to beat this deck. Because with one, you lose still. So with two, we'll see if two makes a difference. I'm actually curious. Because this matchup is not good with just one. Heck, I mean, what? We could play three. I don't care. You think I care? I'll play three. I'll, I'll, you know what? The limit is four. You can't play more than four. <laughs> yeah, they won't they won't let you play more than four. But uh if I could, I might. Do you think my opponent just scoops oh do I not have Crobat in the deck? I don't have Crobat in the deck. I prized both my Crobat? Dang. Okay. It's unfortunate. Okay. So we'll just thin this guy out of the deck. Get a Galarian Moltres out. Air Balloon there and Data Change. Okay. There we go. We've got to Viridian. And I can discard a dark, get metal out of the deck. That's fine. And we'll just attach the, first of all, Dire Flame Wings. Attach the metal. And we're going to use Altered Creation. GX. And we see what they do. I imagine that they'll be able to gust my Mew this next turn. So if they do, I desperately want to find my other Mew and drop it down. Because then, right, if if they gust the Mew, I didn't want to just drop down two Mews immediately, I don't think. Even though that could have been just the correct strategy is just drop two Mew, like right now. Because then you're kind of just saying, like, all right, what are you going to do about it? Are you really going to gust gust? Because that would be hilarious. Right, so they have the knockout on Mew. This is why we have to play two, right? Is because they're going to guaranteed take this knockout on this Mew every time because of the Drizzles and Intellion. They have so much access to it. So you need to buy yourself another turn. Like, have to. Now, what's troubling is that... They still have a win condition, even if I bench another Mew this next turn. And they knock it out. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to swing into this one, right? I think two Mew is just correct. 
Just thinking about it. Yeah, I, I think it's correct. I mean, this deck needs so little now without like the saucers and stuff. With Galarian Moltres, this deck needs so little to function. You just... You all you literally do is attach three energy to ADP and go. It's that it's that easy. And here's the Mew. This my opponent's about to tilt sideways. You guys excited? I I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so sick. All right. I'm gonna put the other last energy on. Quick ball away this. Get another Mew. I mean, I could data change. Is there a point? No. We just put pressure on the active. Yeah. And then we retreat. We swing for 180 damage, right? Yeah. And then I basically just have checkmate. Right? Which is so absurd. We'll attach one there and one there. I mean, but look how free this matchup just got. Look look how free. We put down the second Mew, and that was like, it took almost nothing out of our deck. We're already playing one. It's just one spot. And it completely changes the landscape of this matchup. Now I target down this Rapid Striker Shifu Max next turn, right? Finish it off for four prizes. Finish off Sobble. That's game. And I think that Rapid Striker Shifu Max is a deck that needs to be respected. It's good enough that it's worth teching for. It's not crazy to play two Mew. Shadow Rider decks were playing two Marshadow, right? Resetting whole Marshadow. Like, if if it's worth the space, if it's a matchup, if you could take that one extra card spot and turn a matchup on its head, then it's worth it. So, we may see my opponent go for this knockout on this Mew again. If they do, then I need to not bench a Dedenny, right? That's why I didn't bench the Dedenny. Because the reason I didn't day-day change was because if they do gust and knock out this Mew again, right, then they have four prizes remaining, and I don't want to have two Dedenne down because they could theoretically knock out two Dedennes. My opponent can't snipe my Mew because this is a shady dealings one. They didn't have the option to get three quick shooting Inteleon into play this turn. And now they still don't. They're getting Cheryl, though. Ugh. Okay. That's kind of tough. I don't love that. That hurts. Really needed that damage to stick. I wonder if they have an attack, though. Because if they don't have an attack, right? Like, they don't have a meaningful attack. Oh, escape rope. Okay. Well, like you're still not knocking out my Moltres. It's going to be close. One card in hand. Eldegoss. I don't want the Marnie. So I think that I'm just going to have to data change now. Yeah, let's just data change. And I think that it's probably correct for me to gust and knock out one of those Drizzile. I could just go gust, gust game. Like gust, gust, gust game. If I have three turns to win this thing, yeah, that's probably fine. So we'll just do that. Knock this thing out. Right? And then 
We take our two prizes. And if they have to swing into this ADP, then I just go gust again, take out another one, right? And then day-day change for my third gust and take out another one. And it's all because of the second Mew that this is possible, right? They're just locked into only having to do 150. If they gust my Dedenne at this point, then they still have to take three prizes. They haven't damaged my Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia yet. So they're in a situation where they can't do that. So it seems like we're in a good spot. It seems that way. They've only got a one card hand and it's nothing. They Listen, they played their whole hand down for the Cheryl play, right? The whole hand down for the Cheryl play. And since I've been taking out the Drizziles, now they don't have the option. It's literally checkmate, game over, right? Ultimate Ray. And then I knock out this guy for game. You have a zero card hand. And that's GG's, mate. That's it. Two Mew from Unbroken Bonds. You heard it here, chat. Tricky Jim. Slap two of those things in your deck. It's a good card. Heck, three of those things in your deck if you want to. Really, a whole playset, bro. Like, it's worth it. Yo, put this Rapid Striker Shifu where it belongs. Yeah. Play your Mew from Unbroken Bonds. There we go. That's going to be GG's. What are we going to do? Listen, we're not there yet, okay? We're not we're not there yet. We don't have to worry about Mew rotating. We still got Mew, okay, for a little while longer or a burn. GG's, Sparkly. GG's. GG's. Two Mew from Unbroken Bonds. Take it to the Chill TCG. Take it to your Hegsters. Take it to your your limitless events. Put two of them two of them boys in the deck. What is what's this? Cheryl's? Darkness energies? Is this a rapid strike or Shifu VMAX deck? Potentially? What do we got going on here? There's the Mew from Unbroken Bonds. Cool. Viridian. Get ourselves water. Quick ball. Get this fella. Cherish ball. And just go in. Yup. Beautiful. Now we're just vibing here. Dire Flame Wings, ready to rock and roll, and we'll pass. And then next turn, we've got the Altered Creation GX. Easy as one, two, three, baby. Turn one, Energy. Turn two, Altered Creation. Turn three, Ultimate Ray. Start knocking things out with Aura Burn. Take bonus prize cards. Feels good. And in a world dominated by Shadow Rider Calrex VMAX. Feels really nice to be playing a, uh, a deck with four Galarian Moltres in it. Yeah, that's that's real nice. Catterday? I'd like to see Catterday deal with my two Mew from Unbroken Bonds. Yes, or three even, or four. I'm not opposed to a playset. Yes. <laughs> yes. Our first game in the stream, we played against a Rapid Striker Shifu deck, and now I'm playing against another one. Two Mew. They're not going to know what hit them. Okay. Let's Viridian away the Moltres. That's cool. Aurora, that. Charge up. 
I'm not teching for Catterday. I'm teching for Rapid Striker Shifu VMAX. Yeah. That's the dealio. Okay. Not going to bench this Mew yet. There's no reason. Because they can't rapid flow. So there's no real point in benching this. Unless I get Marnied like a kind of an ugly Marnie. That would be tough. I'm honestly not opposed to playing three of these, though. The card is so good right now, and it's one of Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia's only weaknesses is the spread decks. So why not just deal with the spread decks? Oh, my opponent could energy switch. I did forget about that. Oh, I might be getting ruined here. Might be. I forgot about the E-switch. I did. I did. Let's hope for a never punish situation. What do you think? You think I'm getting punished? Nah, they're going to Gale Thrust. They about to Gale Thrust. Yeah. Karate Belt, you not behind on prizes? Gale Thrust. Gale Thrust. Gale Thrust. Gale Thrust. Told you. All right, here we go. Whew. Yeah, did forget about the E-Switch, but that's fine. Here we go. You're mad, bro. <laughs> Let's, uh... Viridian away this. That's fine. Get Metal Energy. Dire Flame Wings. Yeah, we'll get this guy. That's cool. And now we drop these fellas. That's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah. You just drop the two Mew on them. And you see what it do. Yeah, just like that. And then... We swing into the Urshif. They can't even... They can't do it, bro. They got the karate belt. They're ready to rapid flow. And I just killed the vibe 100%. We just absolutely killed the vibe. Yeah. They were all ready to rock and roll. Mewtwo Project in the, set, in the chat says, What if you prize a Mew? I think you need three. I've been saying this. <laughs> just just play four. Yeah. Just, just play four of this thing. Who cares? This deck is so good that it doesn't matter. Why not? Now, the question is, can they get that Cheryl and pull the Cheryl playoff? Because if they can pull the Cheryl playoff, I could be in trouble. Could be. I should have... No. I threw. I shouldn't have put that on there. That's my bad. All right. We'll get this guy because then I could have you see what I'm saying yeah you already know I should I needed that to not be there all right that's fine put that there Marnie this is so sick you guys want to see the gnar I'm about to t you guys are yeah you guys are going to be impressed <laughs> thoroughly impressed are you not entertained right now okay There we go. Misplay averted. 
Misplay averted gent. Okay, now can we can we keep them from getting the Cheryl play? Well, if they Cheryl, then they're not taking... Eh, they could Cheryl and then knock out with that, right? I guess. So we'll just have to Ouroborn and see. Because they're doing 190 here, which is a knockout. So the hope is they cannot share. They have two Sobble in play. So they could definitely evolve those up into Drizzile and grab the Cheryl. The hope is that the Marnie keeps them out of it. But it looks like they have probably Cheryl knockout with Moltres, which is bad for me. That's not good. Um, unless they don't have the Cheryl. Please. Please don't have the Cheryl. Let's go. All right. Now we're in. They had to Drizzile for the energy. All I have to do is find an energy. I've got the boss already. Boss up your man. We got the Dire Flame Wings. All I need to do is day day change. They didn't even want to see. I, I had it, bro. We we had it. We we had it. I I mean I would I would have liked to have seen it. But I, I definitely had it. <laughs> Ooh. Rapid Strike Urshifu. Beat Rapid Strike or Shifu V Max decks with this one easy trick. It's uh, two Mew from Unbroken Bonds. Looks like it's an Urshifu Dragapult deck. I haven't seen a Urshifu Dragapult VMAX deck in quite some time, so this is pretty interesting. My opponent is setting up pretty quick, and they're going first, so that's going to be a little tough for me. I'm not going to want to put any of those Dragapult. Oh? Maybe they will. I was going to say they probably won't want to play any of those Dragapult down, but I guess you never know. Do ya? All right, so we're going to get ourselves this fella. And then Great Catcher. That's fine. Bring up that dude. Marnie, just looking for an energy. Not that kind. Could always hit him with the Marnie Mawile, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Now we're chilling. Crobat. There we go. Glorious. What a, just what a beautiful deck. Absolutely glorious deck. Look, just look at it. Look at what we've done. Okay. Pass. They've they've got like nothing in that hand. They're going to have to maybe retreat. Oh, you top decked a Pokemon? No. No. Dang it. I was going to say, we took the Dragapult out of the hand. Now they've got two of these things down. So if they evolve into Dragapult VMAX, I'm just going to be coming in. And take the knockout with Galarian Moltres. They may... Okay, they've got Eldegoss. I was going to say, they may not have another support Pokemon in the deck. Because they've got two Dedenne accounted for. I really don't want to data change. I want to leave a bench space open for Mew from Unbroken Bonds. Unfortunately, ooh, I don't have it right now. 
100 furious blows, eh? All right, quick ball. Okay. So, this is easy enough. Get that into the discard pile. Get ourselves the metal. Metal here, charge us up. Retreat. Quick ball away. You. Get the Mew from Unbroken Bonds. And alter creation. There we go. There he is. Just in time. Just in time, Mew. Very good. Very good. We're going to put our friend down. And then... Hopefully, they don't get a great attack this next turn. Oh, they have to just 100 Furious Blows. That's fine. Cherish Ball. I mean, not doing much for us, but it's chill. I can at least attack into this thing. But the sketchy thing is... By attacking into this thing... I am not taking the KO, which means that, well, I guess if they just keep it this, right, and then they, eh, it's like, it's a little precarious, but I'm fine, because I could just knock out this, knock out that, and it's game, so it doesn't matter if I'm not taking out a VMAX, right? So we're just, we're totally fine. They don't really have any other safe attackers. They don't have another clean Urshifu. This is their only Urshifu. So if they attack with Dragapult, Moltres just knocks it out. If they attack with Urshifu, I knock it out. So that's the, the situation that they're stuck in. Hey, thank you, Big Ben. For that prime sub. Let's go, Ben. Thank you. All right, Dragon Ball B. They're going to go for the boss and knock out my Mew. Okay. So, we want to. You essentially have free retreat. So, that's fine. <laughs> yes. Second Mew. Arburn. Yes. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> and we take our prizes. Feels good, man. I told you guys, the second Mew is broken. I've been saying this the whole stream. Two Mew, they don't know what to do about it. Yeah. Mew's best friend. Mew 2. Yes, yes. Now what you gonna do with it? Yeah. Nothing. Hey, you would have had that game squared away, too. If it wasn't for the second Mew. Yeah. They would have had that game squared up. If it wasn't for the second Mew. Coming out of nowhere, out of left field. Never saw it coming. Now they're like, oh, geez, I don't win. I can't take my five prize turn. That's right. All right, what you what you doing here? No, 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 no. There's not enough Galarian Zigzagoons in the world to save you here. No shot. No shot. This is called checkmate. Yeah. This is where you flip your king over. Because it's GG's. You might be able to take four prizes, maybe, like kind of close. 
Yeah. I could evolve into the VMAX, but then the, they don't even knock out my Galarian Moltres with the VMAX, so. And if they don't get this boss out of my hand, yeah. Seems like this one's wrapped up. What are cards out now, Jackal asks, that I think will be better or even see more play after rotation? This guy. Yeah. Mew is so good right now. I think that I think that this deck is so good that this that other decks should highly consider multiple Mew. And then as soon as this card rotates, this card is gonna get so much better. Yeah, that's a well played. GG's. GG's. All right. Have I sold you all on the double meal? Have I sold you on it? I want to see two Mew and all the ADP decks this week. All right? Put the second Mew in there. Triple Mew. Yeah, three. Why not? Who cares? We got extra space in here. Told you. Two Mew from Unbroken Bonds, unbeatable deck. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got an awesome community over there, and I'd love you to be a part of it. Y'all take it easy and have a great day. Peace.